We're at the Hurlingham Club in South West London for the launch of the 2016 Women's Six Nations. It's a hive of activity here with leading journalists and broadcasters present. We'll be catching up with captains from all the teams to find out what's in store for this year's tournament. What are your aims for this year's Six Nations? I think first and foremost we have to take the learning from uh, the Six Nations last year that although results didn't um, obviously go away in performance and where we finished is, is a telling sign. 2015 you could probably describe as a, a bit of a development transition year um, but we now have to start moving towards that performance um, spectrum and, um, and, and really put some results in um, and, and keep pushing forward as a team and as individuals. I want to put it on mark and say, you know, this is how we're going to play our Six Nations. This is a new Scotland and this is what you can expect. We want to be a tough team to play. We want to go out there scoring points, whether that be tries, penalties, drop goals, you know. We want to be a tough team that people, you know, the people in a way relish to play, but in a way also kind of, they expect a battle and expect a war. Second last year and you lost to Ireland on points difference. What will be your aims for this year's Six Nations? Well, our objective is to do uh, better than uh, last year. Of course, uh, we're going to take it uh, match uh, per match. And uh, why not? You know, we might uh, be able to win the tournament. We have a lot of big game players like Savela Sheegan and uh, Mary Louise Riley, Nora Stapleton and Sophie Spence. These girls have all you know, been around the squad for the last few years. And then we've got some really new, exciting girls come in. There'll be some unfamiliar faces to people, but um, are definitely ready for the challenge. It's a very important tournament because the level of play is higher than what we play normally at home amongst ourselves. Your role as captain, I mean what will you be saying to, to rally the troops? The girls are a pretty determined bunch as they are, you know, it's just not really a case of me sort of jeering them up or anything. I think it's more sort of refocusing and, and, and challenging ourselves. A lot of what we're doing now is quite player-led and, and you know we target things and we split them off and we, we talk about it a lot more than we have before and I think it's having that sort of almost communi communication link between the players and the sort of the, the key um, decision makers within the game. You know we, we all need to be on the same page and I think you know that I think we're getting to that point now where, where we all have the same sort of focus.